what's up guys I'm back with another video and uh, so Merry Christmas Eve and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing this whole advent calendar but I'm going to go day by day in case you haven't seen my other uh, separate advent calendar videos and uh, uh, but they give a more in-depth look into uh, into this advent calendar so um, Without further ado, I'm going to just like uh, set this up. Okay, so here is everything uh, lined up, and I just want to point out that like every fourth, pretty much has a uh, has a minifigure in it. If you count the Hulkbuster, and then I want to count Dumbly though, because it's more of a it doesn't it's not humanoid really. Anyways, um, starting with the back, we've got Iron Man. In his sweater, so this is an exclusive print, and I dig that print, especially with the snow, the snowflake as the arc reactor. And then you can see it says Tony on the back, but just plain dark blue legs, same Iron Man helmet that we've had since uh, last year, same face that we've had since 2018, and yeah, so it's a nice uh, heads up display face for the helmet, I think. And then he's got these thrusters, and I found this build um, uh, on the box actually. So um, it, you could uh, see his power blast, which is actually day number two. Um, so yeah, um, that looks good. And you've got the same technique there with um, keeping his legs together. So really cool first two days. And then here we've got day number three. Uh, this little Hall of Armor wreath. If you want to see this combined with the Hall of Armor, um, go ahead and check out day number 23, yesterday's build, because um, I did that in there. So, yeah, uh, really nice wreath with the uh, uh, cherries in there, the cherry piece, and this little uh, hover thing, and same base for the Hall of Armor build. So, that's nice. Then we've got... Uh, Black Widow, aka Natasha Romanoff, and she has the same 2020 figure, um, uh, except she has the um, electric batons with the, just the lightsaber blade pieces, so if that was a lightsaber, she'd burn her hands off. Anyways, uh, right now she's just burning a marshmallow on it, um, or maybe she's just uh, using it to be able to roast them, so that's a nice holiday decoration for her. And her prints look good as ever. Um, and yeah. And then her arm printing looks amazing with that Widow's Bite Gauntlet and the shoulder pads. I really think that's really cool for her. Oh, and I'll take go ahead and take off the hair so you can see that better. And here's the back without the hair. And here's her alternate face. Just framed up for you guys. Alright, so. Next up, we've got the grill, which she could be roasting it over, and uh, she's got some tongs on the side, a fire extinguisher, and a chicken bone that it's roasting. So, nice build. Uh, I am moving really fast, but that's because I have a t um, time limit for uh, YouTube videos. Alright, so then the last in this row is this little diner table. Not dinner, diner table, because it looks like it's from a diner. Um, so it's got the nice burger, the cheeseburger, and the glass of wine. Uh, or, I guess not wine. It's just that's what that reminds me of. It's probably water or something because it's a diner after all. Um, anyways, then we've got Spider-Man with the nice churro in a bag. And he ha also has his mug. And here you can see his torso. That's also exclusive. Um, his face from the minifigure series. And you got the Spider-Man logo on the back there. So that looks really nice. Oh, I'm just going to put this back. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Uh, then we got this wrapping station. Which can actually go with the wreath. So you can connect it here. Because it also works with the Hall of Armor. Again, check out uh, day number 23 for that. Um, anyways, this has the um, little... Um, 
roll of wrapping paper, some wrapping paper already cut with some scissors, and yeah, a nice uh, overhanging table, I think. Uh, and then this day has actually two builds for day number nine. So uh, this is um, the Spider-Man present. You've got the spider bot on there. And yeah, um, it's a nice ribbon. And then you've got um, the proof that Tony Stark has a heart little present that Pepper gave him. So it's got the arc reactor in there. So really nice inclusion, I think. Um, really helps bring in the Marvel theme. And then we've got, for day number 10, we've got um, the Spider-Man drone. So same as uh, Far From Home, except recolored, or not Far From Home, No Way Home. Uh, no, sorry, that's my bad again. I haven't seen No Way Home. Never mind. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Anyways, so, um, uh, it's cool. It's got some little bars at the front. It's really weapons and then we've got Thanos and he has this little sack so he's acting like the Grinch in my in, in my mind he has a little uh, stud uh, coal piece and then he has the infinity gauntlet there's another one uh, in this advent calendar but this is th just the mini one unprinted and it's the same 2020 uh, torso and head so nice Thanos figure and then We've got the helicarrier, or at least a mini version of it, and uh, so we've got a little jumper there, and the uh, um, heli uh, rotors, and then you got the bridge back there. So nice little helicarrier, and uh, then behind Avengers Tower, we've got some more presents with the Hulk stocking. So it's a bigger stocking um, than the one. Uh, that's next, so it uh, and it has the little hook there, so you could attach it to something. And this is day number uh, 13, 13, by the way. And then uh, you've got the either Captain Marvel or Captain America um, present with the star on it uh, in the darker colors there. So nice there. Uh, but I'm gonna say it's Captain Marvel because she's in this advent calendar. And then we've got Dummy, um, and no, I did not call you Dummy, I, it's just the name of this r robot. So he has a, a stocking with the arc reactor, obviously for Tony, um, and he has this nice little um, attachment piece, and you can move him around a little. He has the treads, so you can slide him around, um, really nice. And then we've got Captain Marvel, and... She has some snowball power blasts, so you can just shoot them off. Oh, that's my bad. Uh, you can shoot them off. See? So, um, yeah. I did a little target practice in her video where you're going to have to... Oh, that's, uh, that's day number... Oh, what is it? It's like 15. Yeah. So, she's got the same printing as the Helicarrier, which I have on my channel. And, yeah, nice face. There's the alternate, and she has some nice uh, blonde hair. It's very bright, though. I will say that. Um, and then we've got the Iron Man Snowman. So Iron Man's getting a lot of love in this advent calendar. Uh, but as the um, the like uh, alien cannons, dark reactor, and the nice white uh, uh, Iron Man helmet, you can see there's a cylinder under there. So nice. Uh, and then you've got um, uh, this uh, Quinjet. So uh, you can see uh, it's got the engines, the wings. You can move. You can move this because it's on the handlebar. And you can also move the head. It looks a little skeletal like that. But um, yeah, you can move it up and it looks fine. And then we've got Nick Fury uh, for day number 18. Um, so, uh, he's got the beanie right there, and the same, but otherwise, it's, it's the same figure from the, um, from the helicarrier, and it's got this little controller for, like, the helicarrier, the Quinjet, uh, like a remote control, and, yeah, nice trench coat, nice eye patch, and there's the back. Alright, so, 
for day number 19, we've got the Avengers Tower. So, um, this is really cool here. Uh, I've got the frying pan at the front. Oh, it's kind of loose there on one stud. And you've got the um, print for the Avengers logo from the in-game sets. So, really nice Avengers Tower. Um, and then you've got the Hulkbuster here. And this is a wind-up one, so you can you can wind it up, but it's not going to go anywhere. You can make it go somewhere, though. Um, but it's got the this, these nice Exoforce arms, uh, and then the legs can move, too. And it's got the burglar cap and the arc reactor, and I like the roller skate pieces there. And then we've got the mini Hall of Armor. So, uh, it's not compatible with, with those two, but um, it is... Just, it's just a micro scale version. So you can fold this up however you want. And uh, from the front. In this configuration. And then you've got the mini. Uh, the, you've got the micro figures. So uh, they represent the Iron Man suits. Obviously. Ooh. So um, yeah. Really nice. There. And uh, then. We've got Thor. The God of Thunder. And he has this um, power blast. So you can. Oh. You can launch that off. Um, two, there. So, he has also has the scarf, which uh, substitutes for his cape. He's got Mjolnir. He's got the spiky hair. I prefer the longer one, but maybe it didn't work with the with the scarf. I'm gonna actually take the head off, so you can uh, look at the back there. And here's the alternate face, all lined up. And it's got the lightning charge through. And then. For day number 23, we've got the uh, uh, the Christmas tree. So, it's got the Infinity Stones as decoration, with the mine stone on top, and the rest uh, look like lights or um, like uh, ornaments. And, yeah, you can see um, it's, uh, you can see the inside there, how that's built. And I like the white on the bottom, like, for a uh, cover, I think that's what that's supposed to be. And then we got the Infinity Gauntlet with the all six Infinity Stones: the Time Stone, the uh, Power Stone, the Mind Stone, Soul Stone, Reality Stone, and Space Stone. So really nice. You as an anti stud at the bottom. So yeah, Ooh, I sped through that because I didn't want to run out of time. But um, yeah. Uh, this was a really, really cool advent calendar. I really hope that they continue on with this, um, and, like, run with this whole, uh, Marvel advent calendar idea. Um, because I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed, um, the days. If you, if you saw my videos and the countdown till Christmas, um, then thank you for doing that because, like, that doesn't give me money or anything, but it really, um, it, it, it makes me f feel good. So I have to thank you guys for that. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And uh, don't forget to check out my Star Wars one, which is coming soon. So, um, yeah, peace out.